Yo, what's happening, people? Listen, CBTV, that's where it's. Yo, what's happening, people? CBTV, that's where it's all happening. You know? Let me do that again. Yo, what's happening, people? Listen, CBTV, that's where it's happening. Make sure you like and subscribe. You're probably thinking, why should I like and subscribe? Because you're getting insights to my training camps, my day to day living, 60 second predictions of any fight shows coming up. So, why would you want to miss out on that? Make sure you like and subscribe. You're getting insight to my day to day life, and I get to show you guys a lot more on there than I do on any other social media platform. CBTV, like and subscribe, link in bio. Walla! It's in Brentwood, it's a lovely house. Uh, by the time we're done with it, we're changing all the windows. It's like full rip out job. Uh, big extension around the back. Uh, so yeah, big rip out job. Kitchen's gonna start here. It's gonna come all the way around here. Bosch. The hob, the island, in, and the hob is all gonna be one. So that's probably gonna be about, take up all this room here. And then we're extending out this way five meters, four meters. So, and it's all gonna be open planned. And I'll show you guys upstairs quickly. This is gonna be a bathroom here, a little bath, shower, bathroom there. Baby's wardrobe, baby's room, sorry. This is gonna be a walk-in wardrobe. And then, this is gonna be the main bedroom. This is all being extended out for four meters that way. We're gonna have an ensuite there, TV there, and little seating area here. Got the pleasure of doing a full rip out and extension for Mr. Ben. Getting started now. We're just in the process of getting it all ripped out, re-plumbed and electric. And uh See in store for what's to come. Yeah. It's gonna look brilliant, I reckon. Wait, so we're doing a full back extension as well. A full back extension. Upstairs. Uh, second floor extension, yeah. new ensuite, new downstairs bathroom, new kitchen, new front yeah. room, everything brand new. By folding doors at the back, gonna get a skylight in there, it's a full yeah. rip out job. And uh, they've done blinding, we've you know made a massive progress so far in the yeah. They've ripped out in two days, so this they've done a blinding uh, job. This is mid of the second week, and we're literally just getting in the first fix. And uh, yeah, it's all going well, no trouble so far. But yeah, it's all looking good, mate. Bosh. Good there. <laughs> right, Connor's been gonna be doing his first proper day in camp today, so he's been ticking over. So we've got ten weeks of the fight now. So it's his first day today he's gonna do proper camp, which means hard work. You're gonna plan for it today? Yeah. He should be trying hard today, so um, yeah, it gives us the right amount of time, ten weeks now to the fight to prepare and um, as I say he's been ticking over doing his runs and um, a bit of gym work, his bit of S&C so he's been ticking over in that way and now we're going to get proper on it today now. Being a dad it's mad you know and you can't really put it into words I think as the baby grows older by the minute by the day you become more attached to the baby um, and the baby's name is Eli Clayben people are probably wondering about the name I think Eli is just such a powerful name and I wanted the name for a while now I think it's a you know it, I don't know anyone called Eli um, and then obviously you've got the film Book of Eli which Denzel Washington played and that's a great movie by the way and then Clay um, obviously Cassius Clay um, boxing related and also in my walkout song it says dancing around the border like I'm Cassius Clay um, so it has a lot of meaning to it and obviously Ben uh, so little Eli Clay Ben but I think he'll forever be known as Baby Ben because that's what everyone calls him you know even when he's 18 he'll be called Baby Ben uh, but as far as perspective and your outlook on life it does change I mean, 
I'm really thinking about chopping in a C63 for a smart car. Um, you know, just your whole life changes. You just want to secure the baby's future. And it's mad because I'll tell my son, son, when you grow up, you're going to have people that tell you that, you know, you're this and you're that and, you know, um, your dad gave you everything and, you know, I, I want you to, I want my son to have everything. It's mad. You do everything you can for your kids, you know, and it's such a blessing just to have, um, you know, a little son here with my wife, Victoria, Ben, she's been blind and she actually had a hard three day labor, which was crazy. I've never seen anything like it in my life. I never felt so helpless, um, but I did. I was cheerleading her on the whole time. I was there going, go on Vic, go on Vic, um, for the whole three days. Um, don't get me wrong, while she was in labor um, at home, she did let me go upstairs and have a six hour sleep. But I was like, I'm only going up for an hour. And then I ended up chewing about five, six hours sleep. So it was, um, yeah, it was all right. The hospital was great as well. Um, they were blinding, uh, we were really looked after. So, um, yeah, Eli and Clay Ben, new addition to the the Ben residence. Um, there's a lot happening today, a lot happening, um, you know, around our lives at the minute. It's crazy, but it's all progression. Um, I just never thought I'd be a dad anytime soon. Yeah, I couldn't go to the midwife appointments, some of the scans, which was, it was quite hard, but then I, you know, I, I worked my way around it and we paid for private scans, 4D scans. Um, so it was okay, but for those who can't go and can't afford to have scans, you know, I really do feel for them. Uh, Victoria didn't have the ideal pregnancy as no one was able to come and see her. So her whole pregnancy was, you know, with just her on her ones, uh, really. So it was quite hard. And even now the baby's here, still can't have anyone come see the baby. So it is challenging, but you now you've got to play the cards you dealt with in life. And I can't credit Victoria enough. Um, she really soldiered through the labor, the pregnancy, uh, the whole lot. I mean, she's had to part with me during training camp and, and my mood swings and, you know, she was just blinding. And, you know, every fighter, every athlete needs a good woman like that in their lives. Um, I'm not sure many could part with me, um, but, you know, she seems to do a good job at it. So um, I can't credit her enough. She was in like labor for three days, mate. Like, it was mad. Yeah, it was really mad you know watching it I was like there's no way like listen I'm a fire and all that and there is no way I could have put my body through that it's um yeah it's madness and I think your respect for women you know um and your love for for your wife for your baby mum you know grows so much from seeing what they have to go through to then birth your little son or your little daughter it's crazy